Hi girls, it's Emily from Girls Inc. and today we're going to do a really fun STEM activity where we're going to blow a balloon up using vinegar, baking soda, and a water bottle. So the things you need for this activity are a balloon, some white distilled vinegar, baking soda, funnels. If you don't have plastic funnels at home, you can make them out of construction paper or computer paper, and a water bottle. The first thing you're going to want to do is use your funnel to fill the water bottle up with white distilled vinegar one third of the way up. So, I'm going to put it in there. And tap off the excess. Next, you're going to want to fill your balloon up with two to three tablespoons of baking soda. When you're trying to do a funnel for this balloon, you want to make sure that the end piece has enough room to let the powder of the baking soda run through it so it doesn't get stuck in the funnel. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do two. And then help it along. And be careful when you take this off because the baking soda might come back up at your face. So gently take off the balloon from the funnel. Now it's time to see the chemical reaction. So make sure you keep your eye on how the baking soda reacts with the vinegar, okay? So what you're gonna wanna do is stretch the mouth of the balloon over the opening of the water bottle and make sure it goes past all of the ridges so it holds on super tight. I would still actually hold on to the base of the balloon just in case. And you're going to lift the balloon up and watch what's happening. So what's happening right now is the base, which is our baking soda, is mixing with our acid, which is our distilled vinegar, and creating an acid-base reaction. And when those two combine, they create a gas called carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Fun fact, we actually breathe out CO2. So it's actually blowing up the balloon with the same air that would come out of us when we blow up a balloon. So once this reaction happens, gas needs a place to escape to because it takes up a lot of room. And when there's no room in the bottle, it's going to go up through the bottle and into the balloon, therefore blowing up the balloon. Pretty cool. So that's our STEM experiment for today. Thank you for watching. I hope everyone's staying safe and having as much fun as they can. We miss you here at Girls Inc. and we hope to see you very soon. Bye!